Truth, I reckon they're just wasting a lot of money. Millions. But it might come in one day, but not in my lifetime, I don't think. I never know, I could be wrong. We're real shearers. We're the old school shearers. These fellas, I don't know what they're... Must be a new way that they're trying. Don't know if it'll ever come in. I've seen the future, and this is the way to get there. Watch out, man. Originally, me and my wife had the idea about 10 years ago that we could shear sheep sequentially and um, suffering a spinal fusion and things like that, I decided to get stuck into it. Traditional shearing requires a high, very high level of skill, it takes a long, long time to learn and it's a very manually demanding job, so it's a very physical job and um, it's very hard on people's bodies. Me and um, my wife and Philip Panizzard and, uh, and some shearholders developed the first prototype and we've just went on from there and there's been more shareholders and, and then AWI come on board and, and developed this thing. Australian Wool Innovation represents the research and development arm of the wool growers of Australia. It's got 35,000 shareholders, all, in, all individual wool growers, who via a levy, which has just been uh, uh, confirmed to remain at 2%, uh, fund research, development and other services to the benefit of all wool growers in Australia. And uh, Shear Express represents probably our single biggest uh, project and certainly our biggest project in the shearing area. Most Australians have been brought up believing that uh, you know, our heritage um, has, has ridden on the sheep's back and so there is a very strong sense of history that people see as being lost if the uh, Shear Express system is successful. I've got little sentiment to the uh, traditions of a shearing shed. They're hot, they're dusty, and it's really hard work. Well, it's a skilled occupation. It's skilled, highly skilled shearing. That way in there may be a bit less skilled, even though they've got skilled operators in there. But, um, if you watch these blokes when they start up, you'll find that it's pretty highly skilled how they do it. So it's what's changed in 200 years. It's gone from the blades to the 
narrow gear, the narrow gear to the wide gear. You know, the conditions are pretty much the same as what they were 100 years ago. We're going to run uh, our shed in tandem with the uh, Shear Express operation uh, so the Shear Express boys can get an idea as to whether or not uh, they can compete with A, the uh, quality of shearing, B, the speed of shearing and C, the quality of wool handling, I'd imagine. AWI has put about $6 million of investment into this uh, operation and uh, we're keen to see how well uh, Fred's idea has turned out in practice. And uh, at the end of field trials, uh, we'll be making a decision whether to continue funding it through to commercialisation or perhaps whether the machine needs to be modified in some way as to uh, improving its um, efficiency or effectiveness. This, this is a crunch time for us. We either shape up or we ship out, really. Mike, right. comfortable up there? Right, as long as it fits here, it's all right. We're just waiting for things to happen around here, which will take about two hours or so before we even start shearing. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> I bet you our, um, our quality of wool oh, keeps better, though. You haven't got the quantity, have you? You haven't got the quantity. You might have right. Maybe. Research and development is like a great black hole pouring money in and it just disappears. And a lot of energy. A lot of worrying. Sleepless nights. AWI have withdrawn funding for Shear Express and so we are um, having to move back to Western Australia, find another funder and we'll continue the development of the system over there. We've had to put all the workers off. Uh, Fred and Rhonda have moved back to their home in Bajangara in Western Australia. And uh, Fred's taking annual leave at this stage. This is just not lovely, isn't it? Yep. We missed this for 12 months. Three years. Three years, yeah, three years since we left here. It was disappointing, but um, it probably wasn't totally unexpected, given um, the objective that AWI had, had, had said that we needed to meet to continue funding. And um, we've got funding in the pipeline, so it's very much positive at this stage.
how many people sort of have a dream and, and at, the, at the end of the day realise their dream, you know? And I think if we get this going, we'll have realised the dream and we'll be one of the few that's made the grade. You know, we're still getting three feeds a day. <laughs> yeah, not completely broke. You know, we'll keep chugging along. <laughs>